I'm going to do Charleston sprints for Wright Patterson Mahjong. This is a great way to push yourself to make quick decisions, especially if you're planning on playing in a tournament. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's roll these dice to determine who is prevailing. I rolled an 11. That would be West. These will determine which seat we're in. I rolled a 12. That is a multiple of four. We're going to be in North seat. I'll use this to track our time. We'll do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. Since we are not east, we're in north seat, I'll get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston. We almost have news with a pair. I think I would focus on dots, news lineup maybe. Let's pass these three. This would be a sequence hand. Whoa. Wow, look at that. Maybe switch to, let's see. I think I might switch to a hand of honors. Let's see if we can get some terminals. No, let's keep going. There's one. We could play either Repression, three pairs of Winds or Dragons, and a sequence of eight. We did give up one dot, but we picked up a terminal, and we might be able to play a Hand of Honors. We have six discards for a Hand of Honors, three discards, four discards actually, for Repression. Repression is a sequence hand on page 18, number 10. Sequence of one and nine and one suit with news and one win paired. I would hold these though, because the hand of honors is double limit. I wish more wins, dragons, and terminals would have come in. But this is not a bad result. Prevailing is north. Our seat is north. Okay, here we have wins with a pair, one, nine, one dots. Either one suit with honors or honors. Let's go ahead and focus on wins and dragons and terminals. Higher value, there's a two, eight, there's a nine. Let's pass these three, a little risky, but we're playing a double limit hand probably. There's an east. We have two pair, two, a pair to pass. I would not do that. You can use Kongs. I think I would just pass one. We got a dragon. One discard for a hand of honors. Probably heavenly twins. Let's just peek. We, we lost out on one terminal by not passing a pair. I think that was smart. I would not pass a pair. If, they're in, if your opponent is in BAMs, you would have given them a pair. So I try not to do that. So I think we did okay in this case. One, two, three, pair. You can use Kongs and Heavenly Twins. Heavenly Twins is on page 26, number 76. Seven pairs of honors, terminals, winds, and dragons, and Kongs may be used. 
We are going to be in South Seat. Or no, that's South is prevailing. And I rolled a seven, so we're gonna be in West Seat. It just changes the variables. So I will get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston. Only one win this time. There's a pong of ones, dots, pong of fours, five, six, seven, nine. Let's just keep the nine. Let's just see what comes in there. Let's hold dots and break up the fours. There are two dots, including a pair now, right there. There's tiles to pass. I would break this up though. Let's pass these three. We're gonna focus on dots or dragons and wins. One suit with honors. There's two tiles to pass. Let's see, let's give up the dragon actually because we maybe could play a gate hand. We got a four lap, two discards for one suit with honors. We probably wouldn't need the one if we play something with news. So maybe razzle, five pairs with news. There's another option though. So let me just show you where to find razzle. Number six on page 17, five pairs in one suit with news. We don't need a pair of winds so we need a north and an east and then we need to pair up three more times now if we leverage this maybe we could play windy gates with either a west or a south because south is prevailing and we're in west seat if we pair up either one of these and pung we could maybe play windy gates windy gates is on page 21, number 34. One, one, one with a sequence of two through nine. So we need a two dot, a six dot, and a nine dot. And then you need a pung of your own or prevailing wind. And we have one of each. I would say probably windy gates would be the way to go with these tiles. Let's see how things went with the time. My goal as an advanced player is to make decisions in under one minute, 30 seconds. If you are an intermediate player, try making decisions in under two minutes. And if you're a beginner, try making decisions in under three minutes and then push yourself to make quicker and quicker decisions. When you're at that mark where you can make decisions in under two minutes, you could comfortably play in a tournament. So for sprint one, 50 seconds. Sprint two, one minute, eight seconds. Sprint three, one minute, 12 seconds. So I made it within my goals. Now we've got to look at the discards though. I don't know if those would have been winners or not, especially that one where we were in between one suit and honors or a hand of honors. The honors really didn't come in. So try to keep an eye on your discards. If you have three discards or less after the Charleston and you know what hand you're playing, that hand is strong going into the pick and discard phase of the game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. You won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints, for Wright Patterson Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.